there's a memory that you've had in your mind and an emotional response has been associated with that. And at the same time, in your energy field, there's a blockage energetically because what, what in things like acupuncture and EFT, for example, when we percuss and tap certain parts of the body, it releases the emotional charge and therefore helps to unblock the energy. So essentially speaking, when we have these fears, anything that causes us to not feel good, and that can be any type of habits or events that we've got, the reason why it doesn't feel good and we struggle is because there is an emotional energy attached to it. And unfortunately, a lot of us are carrying so many emotional wounds from our childhood that we're not even aware of it. Everyone's got the inner child. Everyone's had some experiences when they were younger that's not been so good. And we've carried these beliefs over to us. We're just not always aware of them. So when we have blockages, it is literally a disruption in our energy system. We have experienced certain events and taken on the type of energy or retained the emotional distress within our subconscious mind and therefore there's also blockages in our energetic field. So by using things like EFT, for example, when we tap on certain parts of the body, whilst saying an affirmation on what that fear or particular issue is, it helps to bring up that energy to the, your conscious mind for releasing. And when we tap on, when it's been, it's been studied when, when certain parts of these meridian points which is just underneath the skin is percussed it does help to release the emotional charge and as it helps release the emotional charge it re rewrites the re, sorry, rewrites rewires your neural pathways in your brain so it can there's been people who have had complete freedom of fears and phobias to the point where they can't believe they even had those fears in the first place and this helps and it is understood when you think of what's called neuroplasticity because for many years, it used to, it used to be the belief that the brain can't change. Once it's learned something, it can't fire new neurons and can't adapt and change. We now realise and know that it can, and that's called neuroplasticity, where the brain is constantly changing itself. So no matter what phobias or beliefs or traumas that you might be holding on to, it doesn't have to be forever. You have the capability of clearing. So energetic blockages is a coin is a coin term for essentially stuff that you are holding on to and you can have been holding this stuff onto for all your life and not realised. And stuff needs to, to move on, we need to release it. So I wanted to sort of touch on what energy blockages and energy clearing sort of means from the understanding that I've gained from um, neurological perspective and energetic perspective because it all parallels together really well or mirrors each other and it's good to have a balance and look on everything on all levels to see how we can help heal ourselves 